food. We need it. We love it. We eat it. We savor it. We throw it away. Wait, what? About 40% of food is thrown away. That's Laura Bishop, commissioner of the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency. And you heard her right. 40% of all the food produced in the U.S. gets trashed. And hold on to your drumsticks because we're about to give you some more numbers that will chop your chives. According to the National Resources Defense Council, the amount of food we toss adds up to more than 400 pounds per person each year in the United States. Wasted food is the number one thing in our landfills and it is destroying our environment. We look at this from a greenhouse gas emissions and climate impacts. Food in landfills creates methane, more greenhouse gases than 37 million cars on the road. And if that's not enough to make you want to cut down on food waste, how about this? The average household spends about $1,400 a year more than they need to uh, at uh, food that's going to waste. There's a big old punch to the pocketbook. So the MPCA is doing its best to educate folks on how to save money while cutting down on food that ends up in landfills. Here, this milk is going to expire. Ayanle Aiden is part of a program with the paper Greening Frogtown in St. Paul. A lot of difference. A lot of change. They got a grant to work with families on tips to cut down on waste. And there's another one here too. So a lot of food waste is things that we buy at the grocery store and they're never opened, they're not touched. You find them in the back of your refrigerator um, and they're spoiled and you can't eat them. Audrey Seligman, who heads up the project, says it all starts before you ever even go to the store. Tip one, make a plan. Figure out the meals that you're going to make for the week. Make a list of ingredients you'll need and stick to it. Can't think that far ahead? Try shopping more often. If you shop every couple of days for food, you're less likely to overbuy or buy things you forget about because they're hidden in the back of the fridge. Which brings up tip number two. Keep your refrigerator organized. You can't eat what you can't see. Move things that expire first to the front. Tip three, know how to store your food to make it last longer. And those use by, sell by, best by dates, those are actually just suggestions. Judge your food by its appearance and smell instead. Tip number four. This is what we cook last night. Actually eat your leftovers. We don't throw it away, we keep it in the refrigerator. We eat later. Tip five, be friends with your freezer. Number six, don't scrap your scraps. They can be used in sauces and stocks and smoothies. And finally, what you can't use, compost. Just a couple of ideas to put some bread back in your pocket while keeping the other kind out of the trash.